Hey, hey, God bless everyone. Sammy D here on this beautiful day. It's a little bit wet, snow with rain, but I want to share with you briefly on how to keep your attitude adjusted. You know, the Bible talks about the Beatitudes in the Gospels. Jesus speaks about how to live life practically. The Beatitudes, I call it the better attitudes. And we should not allow the circumstances, the conditions, whether it's the weather, whether it's what we hear on the media, whether what's going on in your family, your personal life, your bank account, your job, we should not allow that to dictate to us how we should live. That should not change our mode, our mood, or our attitude. You can dress the way you want to dress. That's your business. If I want to dress a little bit kind of pimp style or <laughs> splibby dibby, that's my business. The rain, the snow does not determine the circumstances, does not determine whether I'm going to be sad or glad. I got the joy of the Lord and that's stable, that stays there. Regardless of what's going on outside, it's what's going on inside that really matters. So I want to encourage you to keep the same attitude, to keep the same mode. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. His attitude does not change, did not change, does not change. I worked in a place where the secretary, you had to clock in through her and you had to look from a distance before you go in there to find out what her mood was. And she was laughing and talking to people, say, oh yeah, good morning whatever the name is clock in and she was like sweating bullets and angry and tense you want to walk in there tiptoeing through the tulips and say let me just get in and get out because she was moody there are people that are moody they swing with whatever circumstances wherever the wind blows i'm gonna be sad i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna be mad zoom i'm gonna be furious I want to keep the same attitude all the time. Hallelujah. I want to keep it because that's the way God made me to be. And I believe that if you read the word, study the word, you will have the same attitude, the same mind that Jesus Christ had. The same yesterday, the same today, and the same tomorrow. I'm going to give you three words briefly. Number one, your gratitude, watch this now, your gratitude determines your aptitude if you adjust your attitude. Give you a second to digest that because you're going, huh? <laughs> your attitude uh, of gratitude, your attitude of gratitude, I'm grateful. I may not have everything I want, but I got everything I need. I'm grateful. It's snowing, I'm grateful. It's raining, I'm grateful. My attitude of gratitude determines my aptitude, how high I go in life. I'm not talking about a position. You got a promotion at your job, there's a lateral movement, or you became the mayor or the governor or the president or the pastor or the bishop, and you got all kinds of titles. I'm talking about your aptitude with your attitude. Your joyful, gladful, gladness, you're friendly, you're loving, you're kind, you walk in power, you walk free. That's what I'm talking about, aptitude in life. Woo! Hey! What can I say? I hope you enjoy this message. God bless you. Father in Jesus' name, I pray for everybody listening to me right now. Follow the Holy Spirit. Tell for the devil. They are the very souls of their feet. In Jesus' name, amen. Woo! Hey! Take care of yourself. Talk to you soon. Mm, 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 mm.